So, okay, Tamara joins us live now because we want to talk about grapes. Yes. You're going out there buying them. There's so much to consider and the options are just, there's so many. There's a lot of options. What I'm really excited about now is that, you know, being a decorator too, I've spent a fortune on custom drapes in right. my lifetime, but ready-mades have come such a long way. Yeah, so now it's easier than ever, you know, especially at home sense to just buy something and then maybe you change your mind, you want to switch it out. That's okay. It's not going to, you know, kill you. No big deal. And so the, the fact that there's options is great. And I don't consider a window fully dressed until the drapery treatments are in place right. or the window is, is complete. Okay. So we've, we're showing here, like when you're considering what you want to use in your home, you want to consider how much pri privacy you need because, you know, a lot of these are sheer on the more sheer side, which is great for summer. And that you would probably put in a kitchen, mm -hmm. a sunroom, um, a room where, you know, you're not walking around, I don't know, in your <laughs> bathrobe. Do you wear clothes in your kitchen? Sometimes. <laughs> Um, and, and the shears have come a long way. Like, I love this burnout shear with the bird pattern. That is pretty. So, so sweet in maybe a kid's room, a sophisticated Nursery. kid. You know, and we're seeing all these great patterns, uh, geometrics in these shear fabrications. Yeah. And it's just, it's nice. It's a great way also to um, soften a where you have shutters yeah. or wooden blinds, right? Because they're really hard. So a lot of the time you'll use shears just in a decorative way as stationary panels at the side. Yeah, absolutely. So if you've got like that big window that looks out onto the street, maybe this isn't what you want to use. It makes a lot yeah. of sense to use this in other spaces. And then, I love the idea of putting drapes across, right across an entire wall in a nursery. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Just to fill, and they, you know, the thing it about shears it. is it lets the light through, right? right. Um, and that's great and adds a little bit of color. You can see this some of them lovely. are more sheer than others. Yep. And, uh, you know, the burnout, you've got some linen look, that yes. kind of stuff too. Okay, so let's come over here and look at these. So we talked about the sheer. I'll let you yes. go all the way over okay. to that yes. side. Yes, thank you. These are a little bit heavier and it, it just looks like they have a little bit more integrity. Yeah. So we're starting to do a lot more um, lining. Wider right. widths, longer lengths to offer people flexibility. Um, you know, a lot of decorators will hang drapes above the window and also wider than the window right. to create the illusion of a bigger window. So that gives you the flexibility. This particular one has a blackout liner. Mm. That's great too, where you want to block light. And, and drapes can also offer sound insulation and even cut drafts. Oh, amazing. But yeah, it is really good for sound. It really does help to envelop a space. Do all of the ready-mades come with the, the, uh, the grommets? You know what? We're seeing a lot right now. Forget about tab top. That's in the past. Yeah. But we're doing a lot of grommets and rod and pocket, which are cleaner, uh, more contemporary. Yeah, I so like the way they fold. This, um, this one is self-lined, but you've got embroidery, beautiful in a dining room. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, when you're choosing patterns and colors, because there is so much out there, it's about considering what else in the room you've got that you're working with. Do you want your drapes to be a beautiful um, backdrop for everything that just finishes it off, or do you want mm -hmm. them to make a statement? But right. you know, the fact is when they're affordable, you can switch them out seasonally or switch them out when the mood strikes you. And so there's a lot of different um, textures. So and drapes would be one of those things that you're trying to get at the end. You're not doing that at the beginning. It's sort of like paint, right? It depends. I tend to pull a lot of the um, fabrics together at the beginning with the paint colors before I start. Okay. But you know, it, especially when it's not a huge investment, yes. you can do it at the end. Yeah. You okay. can buy it on a whim. Really quickly, you oh. have a few beautiful ones okay. over there like this, this gorgeous colorful feather piece. This is the beginning. This is a fabric swatch. We'll, we'll, the um, vendors are, or the buyers are working with vendors on this mm -hmm. to create this drapery panel for summer and That's I just beautiful. thought so awesome to have this color and pattern and something really different. That is gorgeous. I love all of them. They're, yes. they're beautiful. So make sure you do check out and see what's out there uh, at HomeSense. And thanks to HomeSense, everyone is going to take home a $20 gift card to start their spring shopping. We love HomeSense. So good.